Hi guys. Thanks for joining us. This is Becky with from Becky and Dave sailing Bella Spreet on the Great Loop. Today um, we've been at the Buki mooring field for about two weeks now in the city of Marathon in the middle of key, the Keys here in Florida. And um, so Dave has collected a lot of content to um, give you a great thorough introduction to Boot Key in case you're thinking of mooring here uh, when you do the Great Loop or, or otherwise. So stay tuned, glad you could join us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit all the buttons. All right, chaps, let's kick the donkey. Hi, we're Becky and Dave. We are sailing the Great Loop on our sailboat, Belle Esprit. Join us for the adventure of a lifetime, the pros and the con of sailing the Great Loop. Tips, laughs, and more. You'll come away ready to go, sailor or not. Our quests include sailing to Bermuda, trekking Everest Base Camp, polar ice cap, and more. But the Great Loop is epic and filled with a variety of challenges and adventures and filled with new friends. Join us. It's 8.45 at Boot Key Harbor in Marathon, Florida. We're going to be here for about three weeks. And right now, our typical day starts with making some coffee and getting ready for the net show. Everyone tunes in and listens on VHF 80. Welcome to the Boot Key Harbor Marathon Cruisers Net. Today is Tuesday, April 29th, 2024 and I'm pleased to be your net controller today. We meet here every day, 365 days a year at 9 a.m. on Channel 80 Alpha. The purpose of this net is to get to know each other, help each other, and have a little bit of fun. Can I get a couple clicks? Make sure I'm getting out okay this morning, everybody. All right, sounds good. To order business today, we'll begin with the weather, Look for new arrivals, touch on the rules, see if anybody is departing us today, then announcements, comments, questions, people needing help, buy, sell, trade, lost and found, trivia, and then final business. For the weather today, the sun rose early at 7.07 a.m. and will set at 7.44 p.m. tonight. So announcements are always fun. They have... Uh... Gym class, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They have uh, jam session Tuesday, happy hour Friday. There's pickleball, I think, almost every day. So, uh, And uh, they're going to announce some brunch that's coming up for everybody, potluck brunch. So let's listen in. So, me and you, Gary, I guess we'll have mimosas and eggs. White Star. White Star, go ahead. Hey, Randy, uh, Wendy and I will certainly do a Bloody Mary bar. Outstanding. Anybody else have any ideas about the uh, brunch? If you're interested it's in Sunday it. brunch and there's a whole bunch of alcohol. All righty. Any other trivia jokes for the harbor this morning? Sojourner. Sojourner, go ahead. Hey, all right. So Switzerland might not be the best country, but its flag is a big plus. The jokes are really bad. And... If you like right. it, what else we got you just click your mic. That's your laughing. Animashi. Animashi, go ahead. You ever wonder about the origins of the phrase in a pickle? Well, what else would you call such a dilemma? <laughs> After the news and all the net and getting the weather and recovering from those jokes, uh, it's time to get in the dinghy and head to the dinghy dock. Just a little bit about the harbor here. It's uh, 230 mooring balls approximately. And then around the edges and other parts of this enclosed uh, area, this bay, there's probably another 40 or 50 boats that are anchored. Um, sometimes they're waiting for a mooring ball and other times they just like it free. 
you have to travel uh, at pretty well idle speed around this uh, bay and uh, you're not, never more than 10 minutes away from the dinghy dock. There's a couple of dinghy docks, one we're just passing now and there's one at the end of this channel. Along this channel there's uh, some lucky people who get to dock their boats right on the, the dock walls and plug in. But for most of us uh, we're on mooring balls. And these people don't leave very often so it's hard to get a spot on the wall. As you come into the dinghy dock there's a side for hard and soft dinghies. This is the soft side and we have a couple of handicap spots available as well. Uh, so we just avoid those and go in and dinghy dock. After you're docked uh, we can go and go to the several bike racks and grab our bikes. There's our bikes our folding ones, we just leave them on the shore and locked up, ready to go. Now we head down the main dock and there's 20 cents a gallon if you're uh, anchoring out there. And $25 a day if you're, uh, if you're anchoring as well and want to come into the dinghy dock. They have a nice herb garden all ready to go. And then we hit the main building. Main building has uh, a few bays on it. One's for the workers who maintain the mooring balls. And uh, there's one bay that's made just for people who are moored there and they can do canvas work or machinery work. There's a whole workshop and tables and storage lockers. This is a great area to uh, get things Next done. Next bay has a, it's where everyone can hang out. There's uh, TV areas. This is where everyone can have their Amazon packages shipped to. Everything's put in alphabetical order. And then here's a, a map of the mooring field itself. There's tables to gather and uh, Everyone in the mooring fields on a schedule so they come around whether you're at your boat or not and they'll pump you out once a week. And here's the games area where we hang out sometimes. Uh, there's jamming and happy hour socializing and an extra dinghy dock. So there's a lot of overflow when you have 230 boats out there. Prices for a mooring ball are uh, about $400 a month. That includes a uh, free pump out, showers, parking spot. And this building holds the uh, 14 showers and uh, the laundry. And water is 10 cents a gallon when you want to fill up your boats, uh, tanks. and About 200 feet from all the bike racks is the uh, park where they have a gym, baseball fields, the pickleball, tennis courts and all kinds of activities uh, so a lot of the a lot of the people who live uh, in the harbor on the mooring balls come and they run activities here all days of the week there's yoga and then, and there's uh, bands that play on the stage as well so it's a great community great place to hang out and here's a bit of a map of marathon showing that well protected harbor and then we're back to the boat for a nice sunset off the back. So we'll see you next time and we'll show you some stuff around Marathon. Lots to do here. Ciao. The front bedroom is, um, I've claimed this one. Oops, <laughs> cameraman. <laughs> the cameraman's a little wobbly. Um, it's going to jiggle.